All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Nova Drift. So, how do we do this? What do we do? I'm, I'm beginning to kind of hit the end of my ideas for this game, which is good because we only have like five days to go, give or take. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, six days. Uh, before it's like fully out, which is good. I, I wonder if I can finagle getting access to it early. Probably not. So what kind of build did we go for today? Essence Sap would be interesting. But it feels like such a... Such a mistake. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I do. Leaf on the wind. And Apotheosis might be really good together. Emergency Systems and Strafe. Streamline and Warpath. That's not bad. Strafe's a little more annoying to get up to. Mm. The main problem is just, like, I can't level enough to, like, get some of the full builds that I'm looking for here. Which is always, like, a little bit of a nuisance, but I, I don't know. Okay. I should figure out a torrent build that works someday. Let's start with that, actually. Actually, now that I think about it, we can still do Apotheosis. Huh. That could work. It'd be a fantastically bad idea, but that could work. Let's see, we don't want Hullbreaker. Do we want Stealth? I could. Man, I am indecisive today. No, let's go... Let's go Assault. It's a bad idea, but I'm going with it anyway. I... I don't know. I... I don't... I don't have, like, good plans for builds, because, like, I've pretty much done everything that I immediately can think of wanting to do. Uh, which helps a lot, but, you know, I don't know. What kind of shield do we want for this one? Uh, Amp Warp? No. We probably want Halo. For this. It's gonna it's gonna go badly for me. I'm I'm well aware of this. But I wanna try it. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can if I can be the lurk monster. Let's see. So we should probably go with magnitude. I I wanna kind of rush for apotheosis quick. Because I'm thinking it'd be interesting to be to go with a build that specifically hangs out inside enemies. But I don't know if that's a good idea. Let's see, so we don't want to do Guidance. We don't want any of these. Improved thr Thrusters? Yeah, we might as well grab that. I bit my tongue last night. That sucks. I didn't notice until I started uh, recording. Well, it could have been while I was eating breakfast today, now that I'm thinking about it. But, uh, yeah, my tongue, my tongue hurts when I talk. Oh, that sucks. I always hate it. I always hate it when that happens. Because that actively makes recording for me much, much worse. At least I do buttloads of damage. That bit's kind of nice. Do we do velocity? Yeah, we might as well do velocity. The uh, more damage we can immediately do, the better. Probably grab that. Do we grab Calibrate? Calibrate's meaningless. We grab Snipe, though. 
Extra damage is appreciated. Ow. This game's actually kind of hard on my hands right now. I've been, uh... My wrist is just a little achy. I guess I don't actually really need uh, to press anything apart from right trigger. So <laughs> I think I'm just going to use my whole hand for that. Uh, let's see. So do we grab? Yeah, because I got to get strafe. And maybe we'll see if I can do the Celestial Surge Lance build on top of all of this. I don't know if it's a good idea, but still. Uh, let's see. So that's not that helpful. Shield durability would be nice. Do shield cooldown. I think that's going to be immediately more useful. Yeah, my hand, my hand was a little achy last night. A little achy today. I don't know if it's that big of a deal. Sometimes it is, but luckily I'm about to go on a, on a well, I guess a week long vacation in my parents' place. So it makes it a little easier to take it easy, because I can just, uh, if I need to stream while I'm there. Uh, let's see. You know what? We don't want charge shot. We could do emergency systems. Come on. Where are you, blast damage? There it is. Blast radius. I'm going to be fighting these guys. I might as well have Blast Radius. It's always useful. It doesn't really fit that well into this gun, but it's always useful. I guess maybe the one gun it might not be immediately useful for is... Uh... Wow, that guy's still alive. Just hanging out off screen. Uh, the one gun it might not be useful for is... Uh... Let's see, railgun? Maybe? And even then, I don't know. Main thing is just like, most most of the time you're not, eh, I guess you do hit like some amount of multi-segmented enemies, so it's eh. Yeah. Okay. I probably want the, uh, I have five more rerolls. Let's just go emergency systems. It's always handy. Okay, so this this is going all right so far. So far, so good. I mean, that's usually how it goes. I, I could probably reasonably kind of vanilla my way through quite a lot of runs if I absolutely had to. I don't want to, but I could. Uh, yeah, I guess let's go hull strength here. I should kill you first. Okay, there we go. And yeah, the missiles don't scare me. What does scare me is the fact that my damage isn't quite as good as it could be. And that last run I did was amazing. This one, eh, it's okay. The problem is I, I've got like a, a very weak blowtorch. And I'm trying to destroy my enemies with it. And it's going all right. At least I pretty much don't have to worry about uh, missiles reaching me. My shots are just too swank. Okay, there we go. Kind of? Like, kind of bullying him off screen. I'm not actually, like, doing a whole lot of damage here. This would be... This would be a good round for corrosion. Now that I think about it, but later. Uh, let's see. We don't need Deadly Wake right now. We don't want Juggernaut right now. Rapid Fire. And Warpath. Yeah, that's a, that's a good setup. Okay, uh, let's see. Do we grab absorption? Let's grab power reserves. The sooner I can get some of these, the better. Deadly wake. Probably absorption. Okay. So it's it's working out. It's very pretty. Spinning like this. No, I, I can't wait for the uh, full version of this game to come out. Uh, full? Well, I guess early access. Like... The wild thing is, this game could have just come out, like, yesterday. 
in this state, and I would have said it's it's perfectly fine. You know, it's like, a couple more upgrades would have been nice, but, you know, weren't going to make me feel like, uh, it needed more. See, we don't want siege weaponry, and I'm pretty sure burst fire would screw me over. I, I hope weapon mutations work with stuff like burst fire, because currently burst fire on this weapon is, as far as I can tell, an absolute albatross and would get you killed. Let's grab strafe. And so, it would be interesting if bur picking up burst fire actually would mutate the gun into something actually useful as opposed to, you know, being... A, a no-brainer, do not pick pick this item. It's it's going to ruin your run. Because, like, it's unfortunate when there's stuff like Burst Fire, and it's like, yeah, there's there's no good... There's no good use for this. It is entirely just going to get you... get you killed. There we go. Okay, Apotheosis. Well, I can now fly through enemies. Can't fl fly through enemy pr uh, physical projectiles, though. Which is the unfortunate part of a about Apotheosis. Because, like, physical shots like the spike still hit me. Which means I still need to be kind of careful. I mean, I, I am probably doomed. This is not actually going to be a good run. But, like, that's fine, I guess. It doesn't need to be an amazing run. It just needs to be a run. And, at... Oh, right! Those don't hurt me anymore. That's kind of nice, actually. Let's see. Flash shielding. Probably flash shielding. But let's actually go shield effect radius. Let's see. I should probably actually do a Pulse Halo shield effect radius run someday. With weaponized shielding and the uh, the Sentinel craft. Not go full shields, but just make it as big as possible for bonus damage. Well, if this run ends prematurely, and it probably will. No, I'll still have to do it tomorrow. Holding down right trigger is actually a little hard on me right now. I want to kind of give things a break this afternoon. Go cook. I haven't actually had, like, a home-cooked meal in a while. So today sounds like a good day for it. And I, well, I realize, oh, you know what? I can just hang out inside this guy. I don't have to worry about hiding outside, outside of him. See, anti-matter rounds would be hilariously stupid. We could try Siege Weaponry and, and Salvo as a I'm going to die kind of thing. But I think that would be in, intensely foolish. So I don't want to do it. Oh, I got it. Honestly, when those guys show up, I sometimes just expect death. Yeah. Okay, we have enough time. Let's do the other run. I was really hoping I could sneak in and sit on the ship. But the problem is, like, doing the Apotheosis Lurk build, I don't think it works that well. It's a neat idea, but I, I just don't think it's a good idea. For me. Whereas, like, a Pulse Craft with Halo could be really fun. Or completely useless. I don't know. We're just, we're just gonna do dumb dumb runs until, until, well, I run into things to do. So we want to go pulse. And I want to go with the biggest pulse possible. Biggest halo possible. Maybe without omni shields. I feel like omni shields would be a mistake. So sentinel, extra shield damage resistance, shield effect radius, shield effect power. Okay, that, that should work. I don't know how well it's going to work, but still. Okay, so there's Halo. But yeah, if I do weaponized shields, 
I can probably do a decent chunk of damage to things. We should probably get regenerative shields today. I don't know if it's a good idea. I I usually find it's more of a more of a danger than I'd like it to be, but whatever. Let's see. We don't velocity is okay, but it actually doesn't help that much. Magnitude. Magnitude is is what we want. I, velocity ain't bad. Don't get me wrong. That's not what I'm looking for in here. Okay, payload. Gotta be a big boat. I know, uh... I know Chimeric said he wanted this to be a wide game instead of, like, a really tall game. But I kind of hope he still makes it pretty, pretty tall here and there. Uh, the weapon, uh, the wild mods, I think, should help considerably. But I, like, I wish there were more mods that would facilitate, like, a pulse that actually covered, like, a significant portion of the screen. It might not do as much damage, but I still think it would be pretty cool. Let's see. Shard shot might be a good idea on this one, but let's go blast radius. Let's wait for him to fire his ball. There we go. I'm getting pretty good at fighter uh fighting that guy. Do we do weapon velocity? Mm. Let's do shield durability just because. Supposedly, I'm reliant on it. High explosive. There we go. I'm trying to think if there's any other upgrades that I can get. Oh. I have a weird bad idea. That I've never tested with this. I wonder if antimatter rounds are a good bad idea with this. It really depends on how many projectiles pulse counts as. I don't know. I kind of want to find out. Let's do Radiant Shields. Let's see. There we go. Playing a little risky here. Weaponized Shield. Okay. So anything within that radius takes extra damage of my of my shield. Uh, from my shield? Maybe also just my regular attacks. I don't know. Super useful for this. Definitely reflexive shields. Just have to make sure he doesn't shoot me like that. Yeah. Probably just gonna want to wait for my shields to come back. There we go. Playing it a little risky. And yeah, we definitely need probably regenerative shields. We absolutely need faster shield cooldown. It'd be interesting to try this with Helix, but I don't know if that would be a good idea. Uh, let's see. Stabilization... Barrier. No, barrier is a bad idea. Probably grab regeneration. Yeah, I don't know. Thought you thought you could harm me. Funny joke. I do a decent chunk. It's kind of nice. Okay. Unfortunately, I have to just burn this guy. Because if I shoot him, his reflexive shields go off. And that kills me more than it kills him. I wonder if he can just kill him with the burn damage. Whoa, whoa. Death. Damn it. I was trying so hard to skirt around him. That was a bad bounce. 
That was a bad bounce. Well, honestly, I don't actually have enough time for another run, or mainly I want to let my hand rest, and I'm going to be honest, uh, I'm not going to say Nova Drift is stale for me, but like... <laughs> uh, I'm really looking forward to that release date so we can have some new, new toys to mess around with. Because yeah, as it stands, I'm having trouble thinking of new builds. I'm still enjoying myself thoroughly, but I'm just like, man, what do I do now? I don't know. Uh, so I'm just I'm just gonna keep rolling random little builds. I still think I want to try a uh, I I still want to try oh, what is it anti my antimatter rounds with uh with pulse that could be really interesting. Probably terrible, but worth trying. So I think I might go for that next time. Payload and Concentrated Blast. Eee. That is tough. Concentrated Blast hurts on Pulse, but I guess that's kind of the point. I don't know. We'll give it a go, and maybe it'd be one of those that I'd actually do that with the uh, self-heal shot. Maybe. Essence Sap? That could work. It's probably a terrible idea, but I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Nova Drift, and as always, thanks for watching.